Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today we're going to um, take a look at a few things. Of course it is Fun Stuff Friday so I have this wonderful 160 uh, colored pencil set from Color More and it looked awfully familiar. So I did a little digging and as you know um, I have been finding out and I have been noticing that a lot of different um, companies have been creating or putting out the exact same colored pencils under different names and increasing the set sizes. Now I have a set called uh, Xena Color and the Xena Color uh, colored pencil set um, I have had for just over a year, almost a year and a half, and I have the 72 set of Cool Bank that I've had for about the same amount of time. Last year in about July, I purchased the 160 set of Cool Bank colored pencils and sent them back because they were terrible. They were off center. They were um, not very pigmented. Now the Cool Bank colored pencils um, that I have, the six, the seventy two set, are black barrels with a colored tip. The Cool Bank one sixty set is a black colored pencil with a colored tip. These colored pencils are a full barrel colored pencil with no no black just full barrel colored pencils. Now when I open them I recognize them right away. They say premium on them. They have the color number or color name halfway up the barrel and then C124. <sighs> so I I thought okay that that's not good. Let's take a look. So I pulled out my Cool Bank 120 colored pencils because they are the barrels are different than the 160 set as well as the 72 set. Let's see if I can get these open. But the 120 set is identical. They both come with this fantastic little card from Amazon.com that says the company name and then how to get a hold of them. I think that is something that Amazon puts in. They both have this little piece of styrofoam protecting the pencils and then we have the pencils. So number one is C001 and it is identical and I'm going to switch you over to the other uh, camera here so you can see close up. They are identical. Premium white C001. Now there is a bit of color distortion. Uh, these ones are a little bit more matte white and these ones are a little bit more gloss white. But they're identical pencils. which bothers me a little. Now I can't remember which one goes where. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Um, not that it really matters a whole lot. But we're going to put that there and put this here. So what? Um, one of the things that I don't like about this is I have a 120 set of Xenocolor pencils that I have had for a very long time and they're fantastic. I love my Xenocolor pencils. They are a very vibrant oil based pencil. However, they are, this is the um, 
Cool Bank 120 set and their color chart. I'm going to switch you back over to the main camera. That is the Cool Bank's 120 set color chart. It ends with dark olive green. This is the Color More cool uh, color more color chart. Now there is 40 more colors in here. So if you go to the 120 point, it ends with dark olive green. And then these ones are the extra colors, the new colors. So it was really frustrating when I saw that. And then I saw a couple of colors in there that I recognize from my color charts. And in my color charts, now the Cool Bank 72 set um, doesn't have a color chart. So it's just numbers. And even on the pencils themselves, I had to number them because on the pencils themselves, they're not even numbered. So I had to number them myself. So for the Cool Bank 72 set, it doesn't even have a name, it has nothing. It's just a black barrel with a white end. And then I numbered it myself. So that's when Cool Bank first started. Well, when the first set of Cool Banks came out. It was about the same kind, time as the Xena color. Now you can feel with the Cool Banks that they are a wax based colored pencil. And both the Cool Bank and the Color More state they are a wax based pencil. The Xena color state that they are a oil-based color pencil and they color like they're an oil-based colored pencil. However, they are identical to number wise and color name wise to both of these sets, the 120 and the 160. They both start with number one at white, number two at silver, and number three at gold and number four at metal metallic rose or rose gold and so forth and all the way down to number 120 of olive green so that really really bothered me um, there's so many different um, similarities to these three sets of pencils. Well, basically four. Um, the Cool Bank, the original Cool Bank are different. Uh, they are a black barrel with a colored tip, as I showed you, and do not have any um, number or name or anything on them. The 160 set in the Cool Bank have the same barrel coloring but they have the numbers and the names and I have looked at the 160 set of the Xena color as well as the 160 set of the Cool Bank. I have looked at them both on the um, Amazon and both have the exact same coloration and same names um, like the same number C dash 60 C dash whatever. Um, they are a black barrel with a colored tip for the cool bank and for the Xenoscope or Xena color I mean. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look here that Xena's. They have the exact same barrels as these with a CP instead of this just the C. So I don't know if they are just from the same manufacturing and have their own 
um, color centers because there is Xena color 2 on the 160 set and on these ones yeah there's Xena color 2 so I'm going to show you on the close-up camera here what you're going to see on the Xena color uh, pencils so this is orange sun orange and the Xena color pencils are going to have this little mark CP and 061 for this one. Now if I look at number 61 in here these are the cool bank 120s number 61 is sun orange so they're the exact same numbers same colors everything else. If I look at it in the 160s, number 61 is sun orange. And after looking on Amazon at the Xena color 160s, they have exactly the same numbers, same names, everything else as the 160 set in the Coolmore as well as the Cool Bank. Now the Xena scope or the Xena color pencils do not have the ends coated. So the difference between them is that the ends in the Xena color are not coated. They are the exact same numbers, the same names. Um, they do have a CP instead of just a C. And this two little dashes there. Other than that, they are an identical set to the Cool Bank and the Color More. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to grab number C61 if I can find it. So it's probably in a different tray. But I'm going to grab the same colors from all three sets and we're going to give some tests to them because they're all the same color names and the same color numbers. So I want to give a test to um, verify if they're actually the same feel and everything else and oh I'm throwing pencils everywhere I don't like these little flimsy trays always end up making a mess and I'm not finding that pencil there's no way it's in this one dark red sienna peru So I'm looking for 061 and I'm going to switch you back over to the main camera here so you can see what I'm doing and there's no way it's a green <laughs> but I'm not finding an orange and I know it's in here. There's 057, that's tropical tangerine honey. Golden rod, canary yellow. Um, 59, 62, there's 61. Okay. So there's. And we're going to actually put a. Um, bit of tape on this one or a mark because this one is out of the cool bank. So we're going to put a white mark on the end of this pen pencil because I 
because it is a cool bank pencil and they're identical. They look exactly the same as the other ones. So what I've done is I've taken my, my white pen and I've drawn a white X on the cool bank pencil. So we're going to put these back in the cool banks. And we're going to go to the color more. Now Xena color has the number names on them, which tells me they're a little bit different quality at least than the other two. Now what I'm thinking is that these Color More and Cool Bank are identical colored pencils because they are looking identical in the um, barrels, in the names, everything else is just exactly the same. So I'm going to switch back over to the close-up so you can take a look and know that this one here with the X is the cool bank and the other one is the color more. I think that's what it's called. Yes, color more. So we're going to take a, a pen and we're going to write on here Xena, cool, and color. So that we can take a look at the differences between them. Okay, so all three colored pencils are all sun orange. They're all number 061. The Xena color does have the Xena color name on it as well as a CP instead of just a C. It also has these two little marks here. So even though they're the same colors, there's definite de um, definition that this one is definitely a Xena color pencil. However, the fact that they're the exact same color, the exact same name, really kind of bothers me. And if I put them all in or in like butt down hard on the table because I've used the Xena color of course. I have not used this sun orange at all ever. And it is a little bit shorter than the Cool Bank orange that I have used. Um, the wood looks a little bit different and the thickness of the core looks a little bit different. This core here, which is the um, color one, is thinner than this one here, which is the cool bank. Just by looking at it, I haven't gotten the little tool out that'll measure it, but just by looking at it, it looks quite a bit thinner than the cool bank. So let's take a look at Xena color. I'm going to put the tin under it just to give us a good solid um, hard surface. Okay, so let's look at the Xena color. Now this is Xena Color Sun Orange CP061 and I'm not going to sharpen it because I'm going to use them all dull because that's what the other two are right out of the box. So we're just going to put a good layer down. I'm using a medium pressure I went down once, up once. Now I'm going to go from side to side, from one side, 
and back. Now it doesn't feel scratchy. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do little loops and a little scribing here. Now this is the way I normally color with my pencils is in this little circular motion. So if it was scratchy I would definitely feel it being scratchy in that motion and it doesn't feel scratchy at all. Now as you can see it did wear down that nib quite a bit. So that tells me that this is a soft, fairly soft pencil. Now we're going to do the same thing with the cool bank and this one has the X on it so that tells me it's the cool bank. And we're going to go down, oh I'm sorry, we're going to go down, back up and down one more and then we're going to go side to side. So we're going to go this way and then back this way. And one of the reasons why I chose orange for this, now this one here didn't have a lot of dust. This one seems to have a lot more dust. Um, we're going to color in the direction that I normally color. and do the little swirly, swirly, swirly. Now this is dusty. Um, pretty much a little bit better coverage here than there. But it does have a lot more dust. And as you can see it wore down a little bit but not a whole lot. So that's definitely a harder pencil. So I'm going to grab my pen. Where did I put it? I know I stuck it here somewhere. I must have stuck it back in. So let's do some information. So dust, harder, good cover, Now, I can't remember if it was scratchy or not. Hold on a sec. Yeah, it's a little scratchy, but not too bad. I'm going to turn on the light so I can see the paper. Yeah, it's not too bad. Some scratch. This one is soft. Um, no dust. Less cover. And no scratch. Okay, so that one is softer. There was no dust when I when I did the swatch. It covers a little bit less than this one, a little bit less coverage with a medium. This medium pressure. Medium pressure. Um so there was no scratch. It has less coverage with a medium pressure than this cool bank did and no dust. feels a bit softer, wears down the pencil a little bit more. Now this is the new one. This is the uh, Color More. So we're going to go uh, we're going to go down and I'm using a medium pressure. Back up. back down again and then across. So this way and 
and then this way. So there's a little bit of dust, not a lot. So let's do our line. So as you can see with the line there, it has worn the pencil down quite a bit. So this is a soft pencil. Fairly soft anyway, medium softness. The color saturation, I'm not sure if it's the fact that I might have put more, more pressure on this one or not, but they're all pretty darn close to the same color. Little dust. Uh, good coverage. was there. I don't remember there being scratch. No, it doesn't feel like there's any scratch in there. Um, and this one feels like a medium medium hardness. So it's it's about the same hardness as this, but a little bit harder than the Xena. Same. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So the coverage in Cool Bank seems to be a little bit better than it is down here. I may have pressed harder. I'm not sure. I don't think I did, but I might have. No idea. So we're going to take a we're going to take the Lyra Rembrandt Splendor pencil and we're going to blend first the colors the uh, color more and it spreads quite a bit and it just it eats up the pencil which is tells me it's more of a wax but it doesn't seem to to blend all that like it just spreads it it doesn't really blend those edges out so let's try the cool bank. Quite a bit less with the cool bank. trying to get it to blend the edges out so that they're a little softer and it's not really doing it. Okay. So if you look at those two in the direction that they blended and that sort of thing, they both blended pretty much the same. So let's try the Xena color. And I'm going in the same direction on all three with the blender. In a diagonal direction. <sighs> and the Xena color seemed to blend outwards about the same, a little bit more than in in 
this direction in this area. I'm quite sure I could probably get them to blend out even more if I put some pressure to it, but they all seem to blend about the same. So let's put a bit of water on it. Let's try a little bit of water. Now I have blended them so they're not going to be the same amount of movement because the blender will uh, deter that. So I've got my water brush here. So I'm just going to go on to this little area here where I haven't rubbed the, the brush on it, the blender on it. So as you can see, it does move. Uh, maybe you can't see very well. I'll switch you over to the main so you can see. So as you can see, it does move a little bit. Now we're going to go into this one. And this is the cool bank and it's moving a little bit but not as much and then this is the Xena color and it moves about the same actually this one here seems to be moving less than that one and this one is dissolving a lot more um, let's try this one. Let's try the big one with the... So as you can see, even with the blending, I can really move that, that pigment on that one. So I rinse this off, make sure that I have no pigment left on it. And then we'll try this one. And I can move it quite a bit. So that's pretty close. I do the same thing, rinse it off, make sure that there's no and then we'll just do the same thing up and down and then up one more time. So yeah, they're pretty much all all the same. Um, they all have a good amount of movement uh, in the solid um, swatch that I did as well as the smaller little movement swatches. I'll switch you back over. Hopefully you can see this on the close-up camera. Um, you can see the movement in the Xena color, the Cool Bank, and the color more. Um, I think personally, after playing with these three color, these three pencils, all the same color, all the same number, Xena says that they are a oil-based pencil, and they feel like an oil-based pencil. They lay down the same as an oil-based pencil. Um, so let's grab, what's this one, flamingo pink, no, let's grab an orange, orangey red, what's this one, coral, I think that's probably a different orange, yeah, just trying to find, um, a good match, so this is just straight orange, and this is a sharpier, a sharper, sharper farben colored pencil. And the lay down is about the same. And this is definitely an oil based pencil. So let's grab the Xenoscope. Now the color and coverage of the Xenoscope isn't as good as the Sharper or Farben, but um, 
I wouldn't expect that. This one is the Cool Bank. So let's put them all side by side and see if we can actually see any difference. So that one is the Cool Bank and this one is the Uh, color more. I'm trying to make sure that I put the same amount of layer down. And all in a line like that, you really can't tell the difference, can you? They're all identical colors. Um, I'm going to grab a different blending pencil here. So this is a Prisma Blender. And I'm going to start here. Now the reason why I start, started at the end is because I didn't want to taint it with the Sharpier Farben color. <sighs> Go diagonally now. And there is absolutely no difference in this entire set of three pencils. You cannot tell them apart. There's no way. Those are all identical pencils. So even though the Xena, um, even though the other color pencils say they're wax, they blend exactly the same way the Xena, Xena color does. They color exactly the same way the, the Xena color does. And they blend into a wax or an oil-based pencil quite nicely. I'm not sure if they're all um, oil-based or wax-based. Xenocolor may be wrong and they may be wax-based. Um, I am not sure. I'm not positive on anything at this point. Um, there has been so many out there that are so much identical it is getting to a point where it's hard to buy pencils and hard to know what pencils you already have. Um, for example, the Brute Funer, which is one of my favorite brands, now has 180 set out that has the exact same color names and same color numbers and the exact same look as the uh, Shuttle Arts um, 170 Four set that I have and all of the same color numbers as the Shuttle Arts 180 set that is available. On top of that there's four other three or four other companies out there with an exact same 180 set that is identical all the way down to the spelling errors on the pencils. So when I came across this 160 set and the fact that there was three or four other sets out there with a new 160 set and found that they are all the exact same set, that bothers me. There is a manufacturer out there that is selling all these companies or owns all these companies or whatever. Uh, the exact same sets, the exact same pencils, and they're being put on the market and marketed uh, with different brand names. It's just like the Norberg and Linden. Uh, the Norberg and Linden 74 count set is being marketed uh, under different names by the manufacturer. And all of these are, are 
um, made in China and it seems that possibly all from the same manufacturing company. If you are the owner of Colormore, Coolbank, Xenocolor, uh, Norberg & Linden, Sue Color, Brute Funer, um, there are so many others and you have a specific um, color uh, core combination if you have a specific recipe for your cores find out make sure that somebody else is not using your branded core formulation because the these three pencils are identical you know I can blend them all into the exact same line and you cannot see where one starts and one finishes except for the one that is a different brand and a different color. But you can't see where these three start and finish. And that really bothers me. And I hope that um, Xena Color or Cool Bank or Color More, I hope all of these companies are possibly the same company and they're not actually being ripped off from each other. But if they are, tell us as consumers. Don't throw all different uh, name brands on a set of pencils to make sure that uh, you make your money because that's just that's just underhanded and shady and we don't appreciate it. Um, I don't appreciate it. It actually makes me very angry because now I have three different sets of pencils all with the exact same colors that I don't need or want. You know, I want one set of pencils. Uh, you know, I don't need three different sets of pencils with the exact same colors it, unless I'm running out of a color. But that's the that's the only problem is these lower brands, these budget friendly brands that we, we enjoy because they, they fit the budget and they color really, really nicely. I'm not saying that they don't color nicely at all. What I'm saying is that uh, they are a lower quality. They are copies. They are the same colors, the same numbers, the same cores as other brands that are out there. So if you think you're buying one brand and a different brand because they have different names, think again. Because I have a very, very strong sus suspicion that all three of these companies either are owned by the same company or are produced in the same factory and have been swindled into thinking that they have a different core. And if that's the case, I'm really sorry to tell you, as a colorist and as a connoisseur of colored pencils and a collector of colored pencils, I can't tell any of these apart. They all look identical. And I can blend them into a solid line which tells me that they are the exact same pigmentation, the exact same mixture as each other. But that's my my thing with uh, the Color More 160 count colored pencils. Um, the 120 set I have from Coolbank because they stopped receiving them back from me. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I really do like the co the Cool Bank colored pencils. I don't like the fact that they're identical to other colored pencils that I now own. I should not have four different sets of colored pencils with all the same colors, all the same names, you know, all the same um, core. I don't mind having one or two because that means I have bank backups. But to have four um, kind of bothers me. Another one of the ch uh, things that I'm going to try here is I'm going to grab my um, cool bank and I'm going to see if I can find the orange that uh, the 72 set and find the co cool bank orange for that. 
and see if I can match it up and see if it's the exact same as their original cool banks. Because if it is, let's see. Yeah, there's a toss up. Um, do I have any other? I think the closest is this one. So let's take a look. So this is the cool bank orange that we just used. And this is the original that doesn't have any names or numbers on it. And that's the exact same color. And these ones are a little bit scratchy. Okay, so that and that are really, really, they're, they're the exact same color. So this uh, number 11 that I have it written down as number 11 is the same color as this number 61. Let's see if I can blend them together. I'm just putting down the same amount of layering as I did with the cool bank. Now they are a little bit different. This one has a little bit more red in it. But let's see if we can get rid of the blend line and bring them together. And they blend together beautifully. You can't tell where one starts and one stops. So yeah, I, I'd say they're the same color. And the same same pigmentation, same mixture. Um, the This one here seems to have a touch more red in it than this one. Um, otherwise that's they they the way they blend together and peel up and everything else is is so much similar that uh, I I would uh, would say they're the same 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 mixture as each other. Now whether that's the Xena uh, color mixture, whether that's Cool Banks mixture or whether that's uh, the new one, the color um, color more, that's it. Whether it's any of those is up for debate. But this one here is the old Cool Bank and this one here is the new Cool Bank and they're, they're pretty much just a little bit more red in this one otherwise they're the same. They're able to be mixed together and everything else. Now I'm going to take the watercolor pen, the water pen, and do this just to make sure that there's movement in the wax. And there's actually less movement in this wax than there was in this wax. And that might be because I used a Prisma blender. Yeah, that's because I used the Prisma. Because the Prisma wax has coated it. But all in all, I think they're the exact same pencils myself. And that's my opinion and only my opinion. Uh, if you have purchased Cool Bank 160, Colormore 160, Cool Bank 120, um, Xenocolor 120, at, or the Xenocolor 160, you have the exact same pencils in three different boxes. With that, I do thank you all very much for joining me. I hope that this was an eye-opener. I hope it 
it gets out to the corporations or the companies um, that own these these brands uh, and lets them know that we know we know that you are using the exact same core, the exact same barrels, the exact same numbering, the exact same color names um, as each other. If you're all one company, just come out and tell us. If you're not all one company and your manufacturer is uh, duping you, do something about it. It's giving you all a bad name. And that's my opinion. Um, you know, and that's my opinion with anything like this. I know who Norberg and Linden is. I know the company and I know the people. So I know when when new um, brands come out and are identical to Norberg and Linden, that they're copying Norberg and Linden, whether it's the manufacturer that is selling it to other people without them knowing or whether it's the manufacturer putting out the colored pencils that Norberg and Linden uh, has created the core system for is yet to be determined. But it's still theft and that's why I sent the RAM Refined back because they're Norberg and Linden's pencils and I will not support a theft like that. I don't know if any of these pencils, the Xenicolor, the Cool Bank, the Color More, I don't know if any of these pencils are stolen from each other or a different brand that I haven't found yet or what. I don't know. There's so many questions that are unanswered because I can't get a hold of any of these companies uh, beyond email and I haven't received any emails back from any of them. But I will continue to email them and find out if they are the same pencils, if they're owned by the same company, or if it's just a manufacturer that keeps on sending out everybody else's pencils with someone else's name on them. I don't know. And it's really frustrating me, as you can probably tell, because I love my pencils, but I don't want, you know, 20 different brands of pencils and have 20 of the same orange or 20 of the same yellow. I want a set of pencils to add to my collection that is unique, that is one of its own, not just like every other one in the batch. Thank you all very much for watching. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, you know, hit the like button. Nobody else can see it but me, but it does help me out in understanding what videos you enjoy and uh, what kind of content you want to see more of. Um, if you want to join us over on Facebook, we do have a Facebook group. Um, of course, do fill out the application um, and all of those wonderful things so that we can uh, get you into the group as quickly as possible. Make sure that you fill out the application. We do not accept anybody that doesn't fill out those little those few little questions. Um, it does help us know that you are not a robot, that you're not a scammer and that sort of thing and helps us protect our, our members. If you are um, a manufacturer or a, a company owner of Colormore, Cool Bank, or Xena Color, and you see this video, shoot me an email. Um, my email address is located in the uh, description below. Uh, shoot me an email, let me know um, whose pencils are whose. Uh, if you're all the same company, you know, answer some of the questions I've put forth because um, my viewers want to know, I want to know. Um, if you have already purchased Xenicolor 160, Cool Bank 160, or Color More 160, do not purchase any of the other ones because you will have a duplicate set and they are quite literally identical. Um, 
last but not least of course is to uh, light, uh, relax color and stay safe. I will not be putting any affiliate links to these products below because I do not endorse them until I know um, that they are endorsable. I'd rather lose the few pennies from Amazon um, from your clicking on them and purchasing them and not put something forth that you would uh, possibly purchase because I said it was okay. Um, I don't I don't have a problem with the way they color. I don't have a problem with their color or anything else about them. The cool bank are a little scratchy and off center. Um, the color more from what I've seen of them, I did not go through the entirety of color more, um, but they seem to be the same way. They're a little scratchy and some of them are extremely off center. The Xena color I've never had a problem with. They're a very lovely pencil. They're very smooth. They lay down beautiful color. That's the only thing I can say that all of them are a very vibrant colors. All of them are beautiful colors. Um, and I can't tell them apart. So, and with my, my extensive um, colored pencil collection, I should be able to tell one brand from another and there is no way I can tell any of these from each other. Which is why I'm not going to endorse any of them until I know more about them. Thank you all very much for watching. I am really sorry to bring this kind of downer on on fun stuff Friday but uh, it had to be said and it has to be put out there I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoy that the rest of the wonderful fun stuff that uh, has come out today um, there's all sorts of really cool stuff that uh, has come out today and I hope you enjoyed that those wonderful videos as well all in all thank you very much for watching I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye for now, guys.